What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nash, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, programming languages that are used uh, by financial analysts or just analysts in finance. So if you're working with data, these are going to be the tools for you. So I'm not going to be talking about Python it's because uh, everyone knows that Python is the most used uh, programming languages. But I feel like a lot of people forget that there are other languages that are also used, but they just don't get as much attention. But they're really important because they help you, uh, you know, make uh, data data driven decisions, right? Because at the end of the day, the only reason we work with data is to is to allow us to make decisions. So these are going to be doing the same thing, but they specialize in different things, right? So one is going to be good at this, other one is going to be good at that. So Python can do a lot of these things, but it is not the best at when it comes to specifically doing that task. All right, so the first one is going to be S. SQL, also known as SQL, but it stands for a structured query language. It's the same thing as Microsoft Excel, right? So if you're working in Microsoft Excel, you're going to be working with data. There's going to be a point where if you have so much data that Microsoft Excel is not going to be able to process that data, whether it's slow, it freezes, it crashes. So companies will use our databases like maybe an Oracle database, right? It's a cloud database where they store the data. And uh, if you're working as an analyst, let's say you need access to the data, right? You're going to be able to go into the database and pull, um, you know, that data into maybe Microsoft Excel or anywhere, really. So that is where SQL comes in. It is a language that allows you to connect uh, to the database. Not only does it allow you to connect to the database, it also allows you to manipulate the data. And you can also add uh, data in the database. You know, you can do so much things, but it allows you to connect uh, from the tools that you're using into uh, the database. So now what happens once you get the data? So the cool thing about SQL is that you can actually integrate it with other tools, right? So let's say you're using Microsoft Excel. You can get data from the database and then use it in Microsoft Excel, right? So you're using a limited amount of data. You can also integrate this with other programming languages and financial tools. The next one is going to be MATLAB, also known as Matrix Lab. So this is one of the most in-demand qualitative programming languages in finance. So MATLAB essentially allows you to implement financial algorithms, right? You're going to be creating you know, you can create complicated algorithms that do uh, certain things. So this is where the decision making comes in. So if you want the system to make a decision based on an algorithm, you'd be able to build this uh, using MATLAB. And you're also going to be able to manipulate the matrices. And you can also do things like plotting uh, data functions. And uh, just like SQL or SQL, you're going to be able to integrate this with other financial tools or languages. So let's say you build an algorithm using MATLAB, you're going to be able to uh, implement this with maybe using Python or other financial tools that you might be using. And uh, the next one is going to be R, just the letter, nothing else. I, I don't know what it stands for, but the name is R. So this one is similar to Microsoft Excel, except you have more control, right? So if you work in Microsoft Excel, you know, you can obviously do formulas and functions and you can create graphs, but that is limited, right? So if you're using R, this is going to be great for statistics and data management manipulation and you're going to be able to create some visuals using R. So you can analyze and process, uh, you know, a lot of data in order to find maybe the relationship between the data, the differences between the data. And a lot of financial analysts use it to uh, forecast market behavior when it comes to uh, the stock market, which is really interesting. All right, so those were the three programming languages used in finance that are not Python. So these languages are great. And as you can see, they all work with data, which is really great because that's to what uh, you know working as an analyst is because you're analyzing data so these are definitely going to make it easy for you to uh, work with uh, with data like SQL for example you're going to be able to access a bigger database right and you can pull as much data as you want or as little as you want and uh, MATLAB allows you to implement financial algorithms and also you have uh, R which is going to allow you to analyze and process uh, data so that is pretty much it for this video let me know if you want to add anything else to the list but I uh, think Thank you so much for watching guys make sure to go ahead and follow me on instagram if you have any questions you can dm me or you can leave a comment uh, right below but i uh, thank you so much for watching make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one peace